Hi guys, I am making this quick introduction video because I have recorded a leg session after this and it was just a little bit weird going into the session for people who don't know me thinking who is this girl who is this talking so I thought I'd just do a quick about me first for those who are interested My name is Rebecca, I'm 26 years old and I'm from Enfield, North London I'm a personal trainer and I have been now for two years and before that I was a fitness instructor and before that I worked in a theatre I got into fitness because I wanted to learn to do the splits so I researched how to do them and it told me I needed to stretch five times a week for 20 minutes a day so this is what I did and before that you needed to be warm which led me to exercise and it was just a chain reaction from there. I got into bodybuilding because when I first got into the gym it was very much cardio and classes. I was on very low calories and I would run 10k Monday to Friday which took me about an hour and endless classes on top of that. I lost a lot of weight, but I didn't get the body I wanted. I just became very skinny, and it got to the point where I realized I needed to change. So then I found weight training. Um, the weights was so much fun. Like that style of training was so much fun from what I had been doing. It was so enjoyable, it was so addictive, and especially when you start seeing the results and you start actually getting the body that you want, there's just no going back. I have done four bodybuilding competitions and one powerlifting competition. I absolutely loved both experiences. They were amazing. I learned so much and who knows if I'll ever do them again, but it just, it did teach me so much while I did it and really helped me with my journey. Throughout my fitness journey, I have done bodybuilding, powerlifting, um, I'm now learning contortion, I've done aerial silks, aerial hoop, pole dancing, boxing, boxing yoga, yoga, bouldering, um, a little bit of gymnastics, couple dance classes, nothing special, um, but yeah, I'm very much a jack of all trades master at none, but I love learning new skills, I love trying new things, challenging my body in different ways, and I just feel like you get so much out of trying different styles because every type of fitness has its own way of doing things and it's great when you just bring it all together and find what you love um, also there might be something out there that you're really good at and you really love but you have no idea until you try it so I do really always recommend to people to just push yourself and just go out there because everything's so accessible nowadays anyway but yes that is pretty much it for now there is a leg session after this it's an all-rounder so it hits quads hamstrings and glutes and I hope you enjoy it. Bye. Today I'm showing you a simple leg workout which hits the quads and the hamstrings. I did this when I came back from holiday and hadn't trained in a while as it was a perfect all rounder to stimulate my legs and ease me back into training. The first exercise is back squats. Try and get as low as you can, aiming to achieve full depth where your hips are below your knees. Make sure you do a few warm up sets first, gradually increasing your weight before trying to load up the bar. Here I am doing 5 sets of 10 reps for my squats as I found that increasing the volume of my sets has really helped improve my squat. When I did my powerlifting program, we always did higher sets, so I've now adapted that to my bodybuilding training as well. Next I moved on to leg press. As you are stronger earlier on in the session, it's good to do the heavier movements first so you can try and up the weight. For this press, I went for a narrower stance with my feet facing forward to target more quads. Again, always try and get full depth to ensure you are working all of the muscle. After the big movements, I like to add in some isolation exercises to focus on individual muscle groups. Here I am doing the lying leg curl for the hamstrings. Rather than simple sets, I am doing 8 resisted reps, 8 normal reps, 8 partial reps and an 8 second hold at the end. If you are training with someone, get them to add resistance to your reps. It adds so much extra tension and you will really feel the burn. If you are training alone, just do the same sequence without the resistance at the beginning. I only do 3 sets of these as it is a proper killer.
Then I did a superset of the leg extension and the leg curl to work the quads and hamstrings simultaneously. I'll do 12 reps of each back to back without stopping. With the leg extension, flex your feet and try and hold the tension at the top, making sure your bum doesn't lift off the seat and all the tension is held in the quads. For the leg curl, get the full range by bringing the legs all the way back and then holding the point of tension at the bottom. I then finished on walking lunges. I like to chuck these at the end of some sessions as it targets all the leg muscles and is a great finisher to burn out on. Whenever I do any type of lunges, I always sit into the glutes to activate these more rather than pushing my knee forward to hit more quads. I find tweaks like this really help with my growth and development. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it helps and I hope you like it. Bye.